What is going on YouTube? My name is Lucas and today I am pumped to bring this video to you guys. And the reason is is because well, on Friday we had the conference call for Humble and it was just beyond exciting. If you couldn't sense the excitement from Brian Foote when he was just talking about the company every single time he would talk about something that was positive you could just see the gleam in his eye his smile was from ear to ear and obviously they have been working a long time on this especially from the last you know conference call they had and he even stated that the company has been working 20 plus hours a day and I don't know too many you know penny stocks that might be doing that this is amazing. This company is pushing hard. So if you're interested in hearing about my opinion and really the things that I drew from this conference call, I suggest you stay tuned right after this. And I'm hyped, so I suggest you stay tuned right after this. Let's go. we dive into this video backed by the Backstreet Boys, I ask that you guys smash that subscribe button, smash that like button, comment down below, and now it's time to find out about Humble, the conference call, Brian Foote, and everything that goes into this company. Let's go. If you have been following my channel for at least two weeks now, you know that I've done three videos on Humble. And you know that this most recent video I did was basically to keep track of exactly what we were predicting, what I was predicting would happen in this conference call. And so I really took notes, mental notes, I provided it in the video, and now it's time to discuss and talk about what was actually capitalized on, what was hit on in that video. And so I'm gonna come out the gate swinging and we're gonna dive in and really just, I'm gonna just provide it right out the gate. So here we go. Some of the things that I saw and heard in this conference call were the fact that Block 30 Labs was acquired and basically they are going to be incorporated into what Humble is doing. I kind of foresaw that happening because Brian Foote was the CEO. Obviously, I've discussed in that last video about how Block 30 Labs uh, has put out some tweets basically saying they were closing up shop and then anything that they needed a referral to you know referred to humble pay or humble who is their partner basically um, and so that is being acquired and put in there the app is to expected to be launched in february i was kind of hoping that the announcement for the app would be launching on you know friday and they would give us at least a timeline relatively soon but i think friday is er, excuse me february is right around the corner so that is close enough, but I think what really was just mind blowing and I think my mouth hit the floor when he said it was the fact that yes, it's going to go, you know, start streamlining in February, but what was so amazing is that it's going to be in 40 country guys, 40 countries. So that's something to keep in your mind and it's ahead of schedule. So absolute amazing information. Now they also did some amazing things with Coinbook. They're basically adding the CEO, Calvin Wright, and he is also going to be joined by Jacob Davis. And on top of that, they talked about the announcement of launching Humble Financial, and we've been kind of anticipating that. You know, I talked about that in that last video. How much of that is actually going to be told? How much of that is going to be revealed? And really, Brian Foote went into a lot of that, and I think that that was very significant and some things that we really needed to hear, especially going into this call um, and so I'm excited to really see how that's going to continue to progress moving forward. And then the final piece is that the fact that, you know, the entire objectives, everything that they laid out for a quarterly map was kind of updated. And it does seem like they are on schedule and a little bit of ahead of schedule in some aspects in, ever, in certain things. I'm just like, I'm, I'm so excited for this company, guys. I mean, it's just, it still blows my mind the fact that this thing was trading where it was trading at, how many shares that people were able to still go and get. And, you know, the fact that this company is just taking massive, massive strides in a positive direction. I mean, I've seen so many people say this is the next PayPal, but then you also got to incorporate the fact that they're, they're doing some social media things. I mean, it's unbelievable to think that this is going to be 
an, an, an ability to, to do all kinds of different things. And it's going to, oh man, I'm just, one of the things that I really kind of want to go into now deals with humble pay. And it's going to be something that Brian Foote was really kind of hitting on. It's the fact that they're trying to trademark basically merchant services cloud. And it looks like basically a circle that is, has the humble in the middle of it. And we're going to go over that right now. Um, and it should pop up right now. So you guys can see that. So the very top one is search. Um, and that's obviously the beginning of the entire, you know, thing. And that's the starting point. And then it goes to maps. Ratings and reviews, text ordering, special discounts, offers, and CRM and social media. So all that is going to be incorporated. And it's just amazing to see how this is all going to be really kind of put into an app. I mean, obviously, we're ta we, we talked about it. You know, they're incorporating social media aspects. They're incorporating the PayPal slash Venmo aspect. They're starting to incorporate, you know, the banking aspect or even like taking it a step further. And you're starting to incorporate crypto and, and things like that. So really, this is just the beginning and, and they're starting to lay the platform out. You guys know that I've talked about it in a couple of the videos I've done already. They really have replicated a lot of that business model from Alibaba. And, you know, it makes sense because Alibaba is doing this and you're starting to see success from it. I mean, they're doing some amazing things. So as, you know, uh, Humble gets going, I'm sure it's going to kind of follow suit. There's going to be some bumps in the roads. There's going to be some things that like even Brian Foote said, you know, it's not just going to be super clean. It's not going to be easy all, you know, the whole time. There's going to be things that need to be fixed along the way, but they're working on that. And that's, you know, that's what's amazing too, is he even said this company has been working 20 plus hours since the last conference call, which was in the very early, early parts of December. So they're really pushing hard for a reason. And now we've come to my favorite part of any video and that is chart breaking down time. So let's swing on over here and check out TSNP. Hopefully the ticker symbol will be changing soon. I don't think that there's any hiccups. I still believe that it's on, you know, on schedule. I think it's just the way, you know, it's going and it's processing and getting through the, the steps that it needs to be done. So it's still, you know, on their list to be accomplished and things like that. So let's swing on over here, check out TSNP. So it opened Friday and what's exciting about this is I'm going to be, you know, kind of curious how Monday responds. You know, we had a, a decent sell off the last time we had a conference call and there really was a lot of good information in that one too. So let's see how, you know, Monday is handled. Um, it, it's going to be very interesting. So it opened Friday at 34 cents. It got as high as 39 cents, which was actually the 52 week high. Uh, it's low as 33 cents. Volume was 169.3 million. Current market cap is 1.376 billion. You love to see it. 52 week high, like I said, is 39 cents. And it's 52 week low is zero. Average volume is 228.2 million. Now, to, it closed on Friday at 35 cents. That was up 13.92% to wrap out the entire week. And this is the one day chart. So, this is exactly what you were seeing on Friday. You know, it started out the gate, it was roaring, um, and it got up there pretty high. I'm pretty sure it came relatively close to the 52-week high that it set, but then it had a decent sell-off. And then for the most part, the rest of the day, it had a steady climb, hit the 52-week high, and then it had a really bad sell-off at the very end of the day. Um, and so I'm kind of interested to see how Monday is going to open and how it will continue to trend for the rest of the week, especially with such amazing news, 40 countries. I mean, they really unveiled a lot of good information. Um, you know, I'm just excited for the company in general. And if there is a sell-off, um, me personally, I'm going to look to add more to my position. Um, currently, I have 21,000 shares. And, you know, I just believe in Brian Foote. I believe in the company direction. You know, every time he talks about whatever it is, humble related, he just gleams from ear to ear. He's beyond excited. He enjoys talking about you know, blockchain. He enjoys talking about the company in general, the people that work there. He's just really excited. And I think that's what you want to see, especially in a CEO who ha is basically a visionary in this. Like he sees what he wants to accomplish. He laid it all out for us. He gave it to us and he's just ready to go. So I'm excited to see, you know, how this company really handles this moving forward. And I, I know many of you guys are as well. I appreciate you checking out this video on TSNP, which will be merging to HMBL, is also known as Humble. I, I really do appreciate you guys swinging by checking this video out. I'm excited just like you guys are. I truly, truly am. And this will not be the last video, as this is going to be a continuous trend. 
to keep up with this company and continue to provide videos on this company. Um, I'm super pumped about it. You know, this is definitely a next generation thing. Like we're going to start to see this be become successful in my eyes. And I know many of you believe the same. I do remind you guys, I'm not a financial advisor and anything I say in this video is for pure entertainment purposes only. And that's exactly what I'm here to do is entertain. And you guys know how I do it. If you like this video, smash that like button. It helps out tremendously. And if you enjoy the content, because I'm going to keep the content flowing, subscribe to my YouTube channel. And as always, have a good day.